What do I do throughout the day to keep my teeth healthy? Let's talk. Hi, my name is Whitney and I'm a dental hygienist here to talk about my full day dental hygiene routine, personally, myself. Of course, I have my morning routine and I have my bedtime routine and I will link both those videos and mine in the description box, but lots of the comments in those videos asked me things like, what do you do throughout the day, right? Do I brush after lunch? Do I floss after every snack? Things like that. So let's go over the seven things that I do throughout my day to keep my teeth healthy and happy. Number one, water. I drink water throughout the entire day. I'm constantly sipping on water. I'm actually in grad school now, so it's really easy for me to just keep my water at my desk all day and just sip on it while I'm working on my computer. When I'm at work, however, clinically chair-side as a dental hygienist, it's a little harder, but I still try to take a few good swigs of water in between each patient. Staying hydrated is key to a healthy mouth. Dry mouth is not good. I have a bunch of videos about why dry mouth is not good, so drinking water throughout your day can really help Keep your mouth lubricated and saliva filled, thus keeping your teeth healthy. Number two, speaking of school, if I'm writing a paper or reading or doing something for a long period of time where I know I'm not going to be talking to anyone, I literally tape my mouth closed. Again, breathing through your mouth increases your risk of dry mouth, which we don't want. And there's a whole bunch of reasons why breathing through your mouth is bad and breathing through your nose is good. I have a problem, a habit where I forget to keep my mouth closed sometimes when I'm on the computer or doing something for a long period of time. So taping my mouth closed actually helps remind me to keep it closed and forces me to breathe through my nose. I'll of course link my mouth breathing video as well if you want to learn more. P.S. Don't do this if you can't breathe through your nose, right? Unless you've talked with your physician or ENT to make sure you can physically breathe through your nose that you don't have an airway obstruction, right? Just saying. Number three, I really try to not snack too much. Frequency of snacking is the absolute worst for your teeth. So like if you snack, the healthiest thing for your teeth is to eat all your your snacks at once. And then of course drink water after to reduce the contact time that the food and debris sits on your teeth. However, of course there are days when I feel like snacking all day. I'm nibbling, I'm munching. And on those days, I really focus on my water intake, extra water all day. Sometimes I'll even use floss picks after snacking as well because I usually personally don't have time to have a full out brushing session during the day, you know? That's sometimes hard unless you have a designated lunch break. Speaking of, number four, after lunch, if you have at least 30 minutes after you eat, before you have to go back to work, totally brush those teeth. Now, if you don't have time, which most people don't, first of all, especially if you just ate like a bunch of gummy sour candies, use your best judgment. If it's not something you do every day, is it okay to brush that gunk off your teeth right away before the 30 minutes so it doesn't sit on them for the rest of the day? Use your best judgment. But if this is your daily lunch routine, eating sour gummies, most of the time it is better to just floss and rinse with water and or use a fluoride rinse. Again, this is if you don't have the full 30 minutes to wait before brushing after eating, which I never have. So number five, I just use floss picks throughout the day and swish with water after snacking and or after lunch. It's literally going above and beyond flossing after every meal. So go above and beyond, right? I'm fine with the picks during the day, but at night for my nightly flossing routine before I go to bed, I will of course use the traditional string floss to really get in there and use the proper technique. But during the day, I think the floss picks are fine. Also, if you brought an apple or a carrot or something healthy like that to work with, you, having that be the last thing you eat is a super great thing to do. So say you just ate your sour candy gummies or fruit snacks now as your dessert. Eating something healthy like a carrot after your dessert will actually help neutralize the pH in your mouth. And of course, I have a whole video that lists out all of the best foods to neutralize the pH in your mouth, all the best foods to eat last to be the final thing you eat in your meals, which I'll also link that video below. There will be lots of links in the description box. Number six, say I really wanna drink something other than water. It's rare for me, but sometimes I like a nice lemonade or a hot chocolate, a little treat in the afternoon. If so, I always, 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 always drink it through a straw because straws lower the contact time that sugary drinks like that have with your teeth. And yet again, I will always rinse with water after once I'm done. And number seven, finally, if I'm ever chewing gum throughout the day, I'll make sure that it is a xylitol sugar-free gum or even sucking on a xylitol mints. Xylitol is very good for your teeth, especially if you're going about your day and not brushing after snacks and meals. You don't have time to brush after snacks and meals. You could pop a xylitol candy or a xylitol mint or gum after your lunch or after your snack. Again, we'll go with the sour gummy example. The 
xylitol gum after something like sour gummies, that can really help neutralize the pH in your mouth, thus making your teeth healthier. So if you can't floss, you didn't bring a carrot or an apple, pop a xylitol gum or mint or candy. It's like one of the best things you can do for your teeth. So that's my routine between the morning and the night. Everyone's will be slightly different, of course, but hopefully after hearing my tips for improving the health of my teeth, it will also help you improve the health of your teeth as well. I hope this video helps you. Please like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications if it did. All of my related videos that I mentioned will be linked in the description box. And until next time, I'll see you on Instagram at Teeth Talk Girl. Peace, love, and teeth.